Freedom. Today I wanted to talk to you about something very important. Right now, I am receiving a lot of feedback from the community, especially since announcing the new PR role that I've taken. And I've gotten one very important tweet that I want to share with you and hopefully explain and maybe even hopefully change a couple of hearts and minds. This tweet was so long that it actually had to be delivered in a picture. It is from Linked Chaos. Linked Chaos writes, Freedom. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this because you're going to get loads of tweets like usual, but I'm not happy as a partner channel. But I do think that you guys as a team will be able to improve the performance of your channel network. How? Let me get you some feedback on your ideas. First off, thank you very much. We're always very happy to have feedback of any kind, positive, negative, even some comments that we initially think are just troll comments turn out to be very valuable ideas. And we thank you and everybody else who sends them in. Thing number one, lack of ideas. You guys do not know how mainstream and repetitive your ideas are. Are these really going to help our channels develop even further? Your promises are always broken and are never fulfilled, like every other network out there. If you want to be unique and help us grow even further in our YouTube careers, start making freedom-worthy ideas that will get us interested not in views or subscribers. That'll make us seem very salty for views. This isn't even funny at all. And also mentioned in one of your announcement videos, not impressed at all with the lack of thought in your speeches. A couple of things I'd like to point out here. Everything that we announce on this channel is designed to meet one of multiple goals. Sometimes that goal is to help you. Other times that goal is to help other people. Sometimes that goal is to take on a market that we are not currently in or one that we are developing. So for instance, when you see something on the channel about cosplay, well, that might not be relevant to you, but it is relevant to a brand that we are hoping to launch sometime in the future. Also, it's something that people can identify with if they're a gamer or if they enjoy doing cosplay or maybe even just once a year if you want to keep all these ideas in hand for Halloween. Also, with, say, my tech series on Impulse. Again, that might not help you, but it is accomplishing one of many goals. It allows us to help our gaming crowd by giving valuable feedback on these products, and it also helps us get information out there for these developing markets that we may look into in the future, like tech reviews. It's accomplishing one or more of these many, many goals that we have set. Sometimes we're not that great at communicating what goals it is we're looking to accomplish with each video. And it does cause a bit of confusion, and for that I and Freedom are truly sorry. It is something that we are looking at doing a little bit better in the future, communicating this in a way that will help you understand the reasoning behind making the video. As far as can something help you grow specifically, Many of the advices that we give on this channel can help pretty much everyone. Because some of this advice, some people can say that they've heard it a million times, I can tell you from experience that sometimes all it takes is for someone to hear the same advice they've heard a million times in a way that hits home for them, for them to understand. So yes, some advice is going to be restated multiple times, but the advice that's restated multiple times is restated because there's a large portion of the community who is not yet understanding and taking that advice and running with it. If you are the person who's already taken this advice, then that video's not for you. It's important that you understand that we have several hundreds of thousands of partners, and sometimes there's going to be a video that covers something that maybe you've already mastered. 
that might be a video you want to skip. However, you might also want to think about not skipping it because we might mention something in a way that you understand better than you've ever understood that piece of advice before. She goes on to say, the development of the ideas. Let's quickly think about the improvement and the development of your current ideas. Do you really think that it will be a lifelong thing? If not, why the hell are you talking about it? Don't listen to us at all. You need to start thinking about developing projects without our insight to make sure that it's a surprise and of course to make sure that we know that you're working on it. You will, you need to think if, this is where I'm a little bit confused. You need to think if release this last project to either shoot you guys straight up to the top or waste your money entirely and leave you guys defeated. It's your choice at the end of the day. Just think about the idea. Leave it or develop it. I think I'm following you here, but I'm not sure if the image I'm looking at is corrupted. Um, the sentence structure is a little bit weird, but we're going to try to move forward because I think I understand. On one hand, you tell us that we shouldn't come and we shouldn't present an idea until it's in its fully finished state. And I understand that. I get that. Fully polished ideas are great, and I would love to only present those. However, this is freedom. We believe in the free flow of information. As soon as we start work on something, we believe that our partners, who are, for all intents and purposes, our financial investors, believe, should, they should know about this. See, here at Freedom, we don't do things like other networks. We don't believe in hiding things behind closed doors until such time as we deem it necessary to share. That would lead to a lot of very sluggish development. It would lead to a lot of very nasty things that I don't even want to list in this video. I do understand that Freedom has some projects that either haven't come to light or maybe we haven't done the best job of communicating that we are still working on and why these projects have been delayed or, or whatever the case is. And that's one thing that I'm looking to hopefully help fix in the coming months. And yes, it will take months to get this right, because if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So in short, honestly, I don't think that we're going to stop presenting ideas before they are 110% ready. Because as our financial investors, you have a right to know. And you also have a right to voice your opinions, voice your concerns. That's the truth of the matter. Linked Chaos goes on to say, this is not a rant, this is a very important matter. I hope you guys understand what I'm coming after. You need to think about things more carefully. Anyways, peace. Linked Chaos, partner with freedom. Linked Chaos, thank you so much for reaching out on Twitter and voicing your concerns. These are things that we are looking into, and they're not things that we take lightly. Hopefully, after seeing this video, you kind of understand a lot of this, and you kind of understand where we're coming from. You hopefully understand how we feel about this and why we feel the way that we do. This isn't just random chaos. This is the best way to do what we're looking to do, which is serve you and people like you even better. And when I say people like you, I'm talking about YouTubers, content creators. And if that means that ever so often I have to make a video just like this to help people understand where we're coming from, then so be it. Because we are here for everybody. Because this is freedom. And you're what matters most. Anyways, till next time, like, subscribe, comments, please.